Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. As many of you know, um, I am a truck driver. I do um, to these weather conditions across the whole United States. Um, we decided to make this video, uh, what to buy, what to prepare for, just in case you get stuck for three, four, five days. Never, you so, never know. Uh, what we're gonna do in this video is go buy some food for me if I get stuck. So, you know, I won't die of hunger, right? I wanna be making sure that he has um, essentials with him and that they were also last him for a good week or so uh, my uncle um he was sitting in louisiana for three days and he still be sitting today and maybe tomorrow uh so it's pretty bad so about five days uh, you can't really love running truck much if you're low on the fuel uh you gotta you gotta eat you know you gotta come home my wife's gonna go to the store and uh get some stuff for me and uh we'll go from there good enough good <laughs> guys we actually forgot to mention where i will be shopping at i decided to do the local walmart because truck drivers across the country can usually stop at the local walmart wherever they are so there's walmart right behind me and that's where i'll be getting most or all of these groceries These pre-made salads are always a good idea if you're in a rush, but they don't last long, maybe just a few days. These are great. He could throw these in his crock pot that he has. And he will be leaving with mashed potatoes. So grab a couple bags of that. A rotisserie chicken is always nice, but he does not like the chicken that's rotisserie style so we get our chicken at a local barbecue place this is good for the cream cheese and a bagel sandwich i'll be packing him some of these we have plenty of these at home you can even get a roast beef barbecue sauce any of these canned items are good to have on hand Definitely want to make sure you could stay warm by having hot liquids. Always keep a few of these in your truck. In case you don't have fresh bread, you always have croutons. This is a great alternative. I doubt my husband will eat this, but this is also something to keep on hand. You just need to add. Hmm. Right here. You add some boiling water and you'll have some rice. We have a lot of different kind of varieties. Sweet and spicy. rice arani, brown rice, white rice, they have boil in a bag rice. I know Andre has a crock pot so I won't be getting any of these instant ones but this is also an alternative to other people. Andre has never ate this but it is here if someone needs it. Oh, he loves these with his morning coffee, so I'll grab that. There's tons and tons of uh, coffee. If you need to, I'll get him the mocha. He likes this flavor. These are good over white rice or eggs or whatever you guys eat this with. Even just dipping some bread, this will give you a meal. Tons of soup options, but he'll be taking his own soup from home, so I'm skipping this part. 
debating if I should get something like this for him. I know they're not the healthiest options. He likes the honey buns. I'll just get one pack. This is a great coffee, coffee morning treat. You know, you're in the good aisle. You have the good stuff. I'll skip on the candy. Who is a cereal person? Cereal bars are great for breakfast. He really likes these, but I'm gonna go with a little bit of a healthier alternative with this. Anything that says protein bar, that will fill up your belly. Those are good. These are all good. This is oatmeal. This is maple and brown sugar. This is also really, really nice to have on hand. Just throw it in your cabinet and keep it in there. All you need to do is hot water. For whoever has a sweet tooth, cold water, steer, and microwave, and you will have yourself a brownie. In case you don't have access to fresh fruit, applesauce, pineapple, buy him with the lids when he's traveling that way it's spill proof these are great buzz at a family of nine I buy items in bulk so I'll be skipping over this but he will have something similar When the roads are closed, you gotta have something to chew on. I decided to roast my own sunflower seeds, buy them raw at Winko. Boil them in the water with some salt, about 10 or 15 minutes, and roast them on 400 degrees. They turn out pretty good. Okay, trying not to look awkward here, but here is our groceries he's driving he doesn't know what weather he's going to be hitting so i want him to be fully prepared fully stocked all right first on my list is the hot things that he will be eating the first few days of his trip soup same soup mashed potatoes two chickens um with sauce these he does not like rotisserie chicken this is the ones he usually gets um really tender really flavorful and he could always um, eat it for breakfast with some hard boiled eggs 
with a croissant. So he can make a sandwich or he could eat separately. I don't care as long as he has it. He has some bread. Now, this is all pretty much lunch and dinner items. This is some pickles. Now, this is what I was talking about for him to stock up. He got some, a can of chicken breast, two roast beefs, and also some skinless, boneless salmon. Usually I get this at Costco. I was not gonna make a Costco trip just for the salmon. So, that's what he has. Peanuts, it's a snack item. Peaches and oranges, that, Hopefully, it will last him after this. Hopefully, he'll get through this first, and then he'll get that. Now, he does like to cook his own uh, beef stew. I did not buy the beef because I'm not quite sure if he's going to be doing that soon or not. But I did get him the potatoes. They last pretty long, at least a week or so. If not, he'll bring it back home. We'll use it up. Slow cooker, that will go with that. Now, when he runs out of the fresh bread, he will have the croutons. These can literally last forever in your cabinet. If you don't have fresh bread, you can always rely on the croutons. Rice, also, I bought it for him to keep in stock in case he runs into bad weather. Um, yeah, I should have got a bigger item, but whatever. He likes that snack. And jerky, same thing with the canned items. Now, these are all snacking sweet tooth coffee addict drinker breakfast items yes my husband is a coffee addict and yes he drinks sweets with his coffee or he eats sweets with his coffee so i got a bunch of varieties for him he's obsessed with fudge dip chocolate chip granola bars these are a little bit healthier no preserves <sighs> he'll try that out now Okay, wafers, blah, 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 whatever. And he can have these on hand for as long as he needs them. It could probably last him a whole year. I wonder when they expire. Hmm. If you're a trucker, sometimes you need this, right? All right, apple juice, aloe vera, ginger ale. This is the only sweet tea he likes. And a couple of these. Now he also has water. Two gallon, uh, one gallon water and um, individual water packs. And that is it. This will easily last him a trip. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you like what you see, go ahead and buy your own. This is why specifically why I went to Walmart because I know they are truck, truck parking friendly. Are you going to say bye to Papa? Are you going to say bye to Papa? Are you going to say bye to Papa?